and welcome. Today we're talking about doggy massage. <laughs> this is Spencer. Massage has a number of therapeutic benefits. There are so many benefits for massage for dogs. It helps to improve circulation and blood flow, enhancing injury recovery and boosting the immune system. Decreases muscular tension and pain, improving movement, helps to alleviate stress and anxiety, and overall, it just helps your dog feel good. But in addition to those therapeutic benefits, it also helps you connect with your dog, helps promote relaxation and mobility, and it helps you stay informed of your dog's overall well-being as you kind of touch your dog and notice if there's any new lumps, bumps, or anything else going on with your pup. We always want to start with a light touch and notice where I'm situated. So non-slip surface, my dog is on a comfortable uh, bed and I am actually sitting up on a little cushion to help with my lower back as well so that my alignment, my posture is better. And I'm always going to have a hand on him. This helps to be a little bit more therapeutic and not startle your dog. And I'm going to start with a gentle touch. We're going to do a little massage today, Spencer. Is that okay, Mr. Spencer? I'm just getting a sense of what is going on in your dog and how things are feeling and how your dog's responding to your touch. So we're going to start at the head. Don't come in with heavy hands. Think of kind of sinking into the tissues. And the pad, not quite the pads of the fingers, but the flat part of your fingers. And you can start by stroking around the face. And we're gonna come in on either side of the jaw, little circles. And we're gonna come into the neck. And again, more of a circular motion. So this is more of a petrissage or kind of a kneading type motion, but again, lighter pressure, not too heavy, but we want to promote some circulation here along with the relaxation. And as you come down over the shoulders, this could be an area that might be a little bit sore on your dog. We're going to come all the way down the feet, front paws. And then we're going to do a little bit of pressure. So you can lay one palm over the other and we're just going to do gentle pressure over the shoulder blades. Watch the bony areas. You want to be a little bit lighter in the bony areas. And then this is we're just doing a little push as we go down through the shoulders. This is over the very muscular area on your dog. And as you come down more onto the limb, you're going to come more with your thumbs or the pat, long, flat part of your fingers. And we're gonna go all the way down to our dog's front feet. And then we're gonna go back up. So this helps to, again, if there's any swelling or we're trying to promote circulation, this upward motion is really good for helping with the circulation. And then we're gonna go back to the head. And we're gonna just come back to that long stroking massage. We're gonna do the back now. So every time we start a new kind of body part, we want to go back to that original, starting at the head, a long stroking effleurage, promoting relaxation and circulation. So coming back to the head. And this one, we're going to use a different technique. So you're going to come down one side of the spine and we're going to use our thumbs and we're going to do kind of like a V type movement down one side of the spine. You want to move nice and slow. When you're in that mid back, you can come back to that flat palm. Notice I'm always keeping a hand on my dog. If it's an area that's a little bit more, um, your dog might look up at you if it's a little bit tender, go for a wider surface area. So a, a flat palm is the, the broadest surface area and the most gentle, and I can even use just a little bit of pressure, especially as I come down over the hips. So smaller dogs, you're going to feel this bony prominence along the hip here. And we're going to do like 
that V type movement with the thumbs again, all the way down the leg. Larger dogs, you might wanna take flat palms and you're kind of pushing a little bit with your body. So it's not, I'm not kneading with my arms. I'm using my whole body and I'm really monitoring how my dog is doing. And as we come down over the knees, be gentle over the knees. Again, those flat palms, a little bit of stroking. And as we get to the lower legs, again, those thumbs, as you go all the way down, and remember to do each foot, each paw. Good. And then we're gonna come back up the leg. Gentle as you come up, but your long strokes coming up the leg. And then to finish our massage, we're gonna start, we're gonna finish the way we started. So coming back up to the head and long relaxing strokes, starting at the head and the neck. Going down the limbs, back up. Good. Going back to the head, going down the back. Going down the ribs, light pressure, not too fast. Back to the head and neck. Yeah, buddy. Don't forget that space in between the shoulder blades and then down the back legs. Make sure you go all the way to the feet and then back up. Thank you, Mr. Spencer. Good job, buddy.